So one of the greatest accessories for the weighted pull-up or chin-up, which I'm just going to call weighted pull-up, is the bicep curl. The bicep curl does an extremely good job at increasing the strength in the top portion of the weighted pull-up, meaning this range of motion right here. Now, what some of you might be thinking is how could we increase the strength of the top portion of the weighted pull-up when all the muscles at this range of motion are being contracted? That's a great question. The muscle bias, the, the most dominant muscle at each part of the range of motion changes from the bottom to the top. So when we start at a dead hang and we begin to initiate the pulling motion, the most dominant muscle are the lats. And as you get to the mid portion, it slowly changes from the lats to the upper back, traps, rear delts, and biceps. So by doing bicep curls, you can increase the strength of the range of motion that is most biased for the biceps. Now, there's an interesting dilemma here. Although you implement bicep curls and you increase your muscle mass in your biceps, you get stronger objectively in the top portion of the way to pull up, but you become more immobile, which makes it harder to lock out due to the muscle mass in your biceps that is preventing you from achieving a full elbow flexion. So it's a really interesting trade-off here where you're strong, but you're not as flexible. So the workaround for this is to adopt a wider grip. I got this from Matthew's lat. He has mentioned that, yeah, if you do have biceps that are impeding you from locking out, use a wide grip both chin up and pull up. So in this way, it's going to be easier to flex your elbows when your elbows are being flexed in a different direction. Another thing that I think bicep curls are really good for is for weighted dips, specifically the strict curl variation. The strict curl variation is a combination of bicep activation and front delt activation. Because when you're strict curling, not only are you simply curling the bar, but at the same time, you're sort of raising the bar in order to alleviate some of the load off your biceps and into your front delts. And so in that sense, you get some front delt activation. And what are front delts used in? They're used in the weighted dip. So it definitely helps directly with tackling that. Obviously not to the same degree as other dip accessories that are far more superior. Like I would not even put bicep curl as a B tier accessory exercise for the weighted dip. There's much better superior alternatives for that. But the fact that it still tackles push and pull muscles is still a, a really good bonus for the bicep curl as being one of the best accessories for street lifters. Different curl variations. What can you do? Which one should you do? I think most curl variations are fair game, but the grip orientation, I wouldn't recommend doing pronated. This is an interesting thing, right? It's like, okay, wouldn't it make sense to do a pronated grip bicep curl if I'm going to be specializing in weighted pull-ups because they use pronated grip as well? Yes, but if the goal of the bicep curl is to increase your muscle mass, then you will get more activation in the supinated grip versus in the pronated grip. So I think regardless whether you want to specialize in either the pronated version of the pull-up or the supinated version, which is chin-ups, in both cases, I think it's better to do it in a supinated fashion. That way you get the most amount of activation in the bicep curls. But even doing it in a uh, sort of hybrid grip between supinated and neutral might actually be better because you get even more bicep activation that way, like when your grip looks like this rather than just strictly like this. I think that's much more efficient in that sense. So. That's pretty much all I had to say about bicep curls. I think uh, they're definitely useful. And it's just really just one line of thinking about how to increase 
the way to pull up. You know, of course, there's other ideas out there about increasing the weight of pull-up where the only way to get strong in weighted pull-ups is to increase the strength in the bottom portion of the rep so basically get stronger at your strong points rather than get stronger at your weak points so that's also another way to go about it whatever is more efficient don't know i don't have enough experience i don't think there's enough uh data out there to decide that for sure but i know that ruling out one of these lines of thinkings is wouldn't be the best way to go i think keeping an open mind having that option to say that hey you know i could try adding bicep curls if my way to pull up is stalling it's definitely a viable alternative in my opinion so take that as you will hope you guys found some use out of this video if you did make sure you leave a like and subscribe and comment what you think about bicep curls and I'll see you all in the next one.